It's time for the Luca Rosano Show. Here's your host, Luca Rosano. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the Luca Rosano Show. I'm your host, Luca Rosano, and this show is presented by Dave and Busters. Hope you're all doing well on this fine Thursday, September 24th, on this very fine fall day. We got some off-season stuff to talk about. I told you earlier in the week that I was going to have a show this week dedicated to what's going to happen with Fred Van Vliet. Well, the time has come for me to address what will happen and weigh in on what I think is going to happen with the whole Fred Van Vliet Toronto Raptors situation. So before I dive right into it, please do me a solid favor. Drop a like on today's show. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Share this show if you enjoy it. And make sure you keep connecting me on social media. That's Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok where we can keep the conversation rolling. And guys, if you do want to become a channel member, hit the join button. You won't be disappointed. I got two member packages going on right now. The starter package which will get you a shout out on this show along with very cool custom badges and emojis for my live streams i just added to my emoji list and there are so many cool emojis that you get to use during live streams so you definitely get value and then the all-star membership not only do you get a shout out on the show not only do you get all the custom badges and emojis but you will be included in the credits of every single edition of the Luca Rosano show. I just had Tim McAuliffe last Friday. I got another special guest tomorrow. So wouldn't it be cool to see your name in the credits of all these shows with guests on, special guests on with me as we talk basketball and other sports. So again, guys, if you become a channel member, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, If not, I still respect and appreciate everybody who watches this channel. Rosano Nation continues to go strong. Okay, so... Could Van Vliet be headed to the New York Knicks, the New York Knickerbockers? Well, according to Ross of Legion Hoops, the Knicks are expected to offer Van Vliet a deal worth over $22 million per season. It was reported last month that the New York Knicks are all in on signing Van Vliet and that the team could have upwards of $40 million in cap space this offseason. However, the Knicks are just one of many teams expected to pursue the 26-year-old services. According to the Athletics' Shams Karnia, the Pistons' sons are also expected to emerge as suitors for Van Vliet outside of Toronto. So then, the question becomes, how much is Fred Van Vliet worth in the eyes of the Toronto Raptors faithful? Because according to this, the Knicks are going to be offering him upwards of $22 million per season. Let me just start us off by saying that I personally believe that Van Vliet isn't a max player. You can't give him max money. So where does the dollar fall with Fred that makes sense? I personally think that number is around the $20 million a year mark. Now, with that being said, if a team like the Knicks, if a team like the Pistons, if a team like the Suns, all teams that need a prominent playmaker and need a guard, if they are willing to give Fred a big-time contract, if they're willing to give Fred money closer to the max, if you're Fred, Fred Van Vliet and you cash out, listen, I'm congratulating you. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a virtual handshake because the guy earned it. He has worked his entire life. He has literally bet on himself. He's an undersized guard. Nobody even had him, you know, being this prominent in the NBA. So if Fred has an opportunity to cash out big and that means he leaves Toronto, how can you be mad at the guy? I personally would not be mad at the guy. And again, I would be happy for Fred Van Vliet because he has instantly become one of my favorite Raptors on this team just for what he embodies, man. He's such a good dude. I actually got a chance to meet Fred. I interviewed Fred. I got to chill with Fred at Shoeless Joe's Vaughn. This was last uh, summer, and he was just a phenomenal guy. So he's not going to have another lucrative offseason like this one coming up. So it's his opportunity to cash out big. If he does that and it means him going to another team, again, Fred, I would congratulate you. And I don't think any Raptors fan uh, should be mad at Fred for making that decision. Now, if you're the Raptors and you see other teams like the Knicks, like the Suns, um, you know, giving Fred top dollar, are the Raptors going to be obligated to match that and, and maybe even, you know, try to overpay Fred if it means keeping him? 
those are obviously going to be very tough decisions, uh, a very tough decision that uh, Masai Ujiri is going to have to make. Um, the best case scenario I can see happening is that if Fred does get offered more money, um, but he decides to take a little bit of a pay cut and stays in Toronto, I think that would be awesome. Only if uh, Masai Ujiri can sell him on the long-term plans of this team. And Fred really loves it here. He's okay with taking a couple million dollars less per year, and then he stays with the Raptors. So that would be the perfect scenario where the Raptors don't necessarily you know, cut themselves too short with offering Fred a ton of money. They can give Fred, like I said, around that ballpark of $20 million. Fred's okay with it. He wants to stay with the team because he's loyal. He loves it here, and he gets to eat free basically wherever he wants with the whole Van Vliet and Eat thing going on. And then again, Masai Ujiri will uh, you know, sell Fred on the fact that, hey, Fred, if you you can, you know, take less money now. It'll give me more cap to work with in 2021 and the off season of 2021. And then I could potentially go out and get a, a big time player like a Giannis Atatakumpo. So that would be the most ideal situation. If Fred gets 20 to 22 million, stays with the Raptors slightly less than maybe what some of these other teams are going to offer him. And he stays put here. Uh, knowing that Masai is the guy he trusts and Masai will bring in a big time player uh, in the foreseeable future. But if Fred's all about his own agenda, if Fred's all about, you know, I want to get paid now, I'm 26 years old, I want to secure my fi financial future, I'm a father, uh, the money's important to me, I would not blame him. And nobody uh, should blame Fred Van Vliet for wanting to take the money at this point of his career. So it's going to be very interesting, guys. Um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be uh, interesting, interesting to see what happens here. First of all, we want to see, you know, what kinds of offers come Fred's way. He's definitely going to get offer sheets from multiple teams. Uh, Fred Van Vliet, he's a very solid player. He's literally progressed every single year that he's been in the NBA. He's following his best season yet. He was magnificent in the regular season bubble. I know he struggled at points of the postseason. I know he is undersized. I know, you know, he does sometimes have trouble uh, creating his own shot or getting to the basket. But when talking about his defense, especially at his height, it's top notch. He's a spot up shooter. And when he is on, I mean, he is absolutely on. He is arguably one of the best pure shooters in the NBA when that shot is falling for Fred. So he's been a huge part of this Raptors team. He was a huge part of that Raptors championship team in 2019. And I'm a big Fred Van Vliet fan. Again, I'm going to emphasize that. Uh, I really love what this guy brings to the game. I really love his energy, his compete level, his tenacity, his mindset. And he's, uh, he's a bona fide playmaker. And in today's NBA, you need a good playmaker. Uh, you know, you look at a team like the Clippers, they had all the talent in the world, but they couldn't win the championship or even get to the finals. Why? Because they were missing that bona fide playmaker. That is why playmakers like Fred Van Vliet are now a top commodity in the NBA because you sometimes need that floor general to just piece everybody together and, and, and make everything flow out there. And Fred Van Vliet is one of those guys obviously having a ton of experience playing alongside another tremendous playmaker in Kyle Lowry. So there's definitely a need for Fred Van Vliet on this team. He's definitely a, an absolute uh, perfect fit on this Raptors team. But again, it's going to come down to the dollar. It's going to come down to if it makes sense for Masai Ujiri's long-term plans and the Raptors' long-term plans on this team. And it's going to come down to what other deals are the Raptors going to be working with that they got to potentially match in order to keep Fred. Um, so all these questions will be answered very, very soon. But uh, we did see or hear Masai say that Fred is a main priority of the team. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe Masai Ujiri does respect Fred uh, enough to pay him handsomely, um, you know, in order to keep him here. But again, personally speaking, in my opinion, I do not think Fred Van Vliet is a max player, and I would give him $20 million a year, at most $22 million a year. If it exceeds that and you start pushing, you know, $23, $24 million a year to keep Fred, I don't know if it makes sense at that point, especially when you got very big opportunities awaiting in next offseason. Um, and I think the Raptors will have a very good shot at getting at the Tacumbo. So again, you want to give yourself as much financial flexibility moving forward. So it's going to be a very, very exciting offseason. So many things to get to, but we will find out uh, Fred Van Vliet's situation, I think, very, very soon because I think he's going to be priority number one. And then after the whole Fred situation is taken care of, then we will see the domino effect. But there's going to be a lot of aggressive suitors, uh, aggressive uh, you know, teams going after Fred. You know, the Knicks, 
expect them to be desperate. If there's ever a team that overpays for players, um, especially following a great season, it is the New York Knicks. We've seen them many, we've seen them many, many times in the past where uh, the Knicks will go all in on a player following a big season from that player. So uh, I think if the Knicks can't get Chris Paul, they're in desperate need of a playmaker, of a guard like Fred. Fred's still relatively young, so the Knicks will make an aggressive push for Fred. So I believe the hype around those Knicks rumors that uh, the Knicks will make an aggressive push for Fred Van Vliet this offseason. But we will see what happens, guys. Again, perfect scenario. Fred and the Raptors come to term. Um, on something that makes sense for both parties. Even if Fred has to take a pay cut, he's sold on the long-term potential, the long-term value of this team, and Fred Van Vliet stays. I mean, who wouldn't want to see Fred Van Vliet back on the court wearing a nice Toronto Raptors jersey? Heck, I might have to you know, put his jersey on the wall behind me if that, in fact, happens. So we'll see how it all shapes up. Anyways, guys, you've heard from me. What do you think of this whole situation? Uh, do you see Fred leaving for the money? What kind of offer do you see the Raptors giving Fred? And uh, what would you be okay with uh, for the Raptors to offer Fred um, this offseason? So, again, let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts in the description box down below. I always love to read all the comments coming through from Rosano Nation. Like, sub, share, all that good stuff. Hit those post notifications. Follow me on social media. And, guys, I have another very special guest of the Luke Rosano Show coming to you tomorrow night you definitely don't want to miss it just when you thought it couldn't get bigger after i got tim McAuliffe, this guy i mean he's pretty damn big and he's got a massive following so you got to wait and see who it is i'm super excited to bring that episode to you tomorrow night so again keep it locked and loaded and uh all your support is greatly appreciated that's it for me thank you so much for watching until next time be great and stay blessed peace out